Good morning. Hope everybody's doing okay. Am I live? Can't see. Am I in the Glow Club? Yes, I am. Okay. I hope everybody is well um, and doing okay on this spring day should be heading into summer and we have started to see a little bit of sunshine um if you're popping on say hello um and let me know that you're here if not i hope you catch the replay on this one later so um the whole reason i have been spurred into doing this um little live this morning um one of the girls I work with um, was um, in, came into work yesterday and she was burnt to a crisp, bless her heart. Um, she was um, very red and she said that she had gone out into the garden the day before. Um, the sun wasn't out, it was just nice and warm and she'd gone out into the garden with her book and spent a couple of hours in the garden just enjoying reading her book and later on in the day when she'd come back inside she started to um, feel really sore um, and um, was basically feeling rather uncomfortable and um, I'm just going to do uh, and let everyone see oh no I can't do that because I did that earlier forget that um, so she was feeling rather sore and she was burnt to a crisp and she said to me you know the sun wasn't out she said i was just sitting in the warm but there was no sun so i just thought i wanted to come on and talk to you about sun and spf and um explain how it all works so even though it's cloudy the sun is still sitting behind those clouds and the um light that comes from the sun is UVA and UVB radiation so that UVA and UVB um, radiation can penetrate cloud um, can penetrate pretty much anything um, as you'll see it even penetrates um, a sunscreen so um, you will always whenever you're outside be it sunshine rain cloud you will still be hit by those UVA and UVB rays. UVA rays are responsible for aging. So they will damage the skin, they will um, reduce the production of collagen and elastin, um, you get fine lines and wrinkles and they will age the skin. They'll um, sort of increase pigmentation, so on and so forth. UVB rays are the ones that burn they are the ones that cause us the discomfort and the pain and obviously when we burn our skin it gets damaged it gets dehydrated um, and has a long-term aging effect on the skin as well so that is why we use SPF and sunscreen however my question to you is do you know what the number on an SPF actually means um, I know that a lot of people I have asked this question to um, think that it's that you can stay in the Sun for that amount of time longer um, that isn't quite the case I'm afraid um, what SPF actually means is that it's uh, the time it takes for your skin to start going red so they test all these SPFs in a laboratory um, and so basically if you can sit out in the Sun for I, I'm, I'm gonna use me as an example I can sit out in the Sun for 10 minutes that's it that's my limit I start going red I start feeling really uncomfortable I get 10 minutes of sunshine what it actually means is that if I use a factor 30 an SPF 30 it means that I can stay out in the sun 30 times longer before I will start to experience redness in my skin. The, the UVA, UVB rays will start to damage. 
Now I know that even with a sunscreen, I can't sit out that long in the sun. I get 30 minutes if I'm lucky before I need to go into the shade and I still need to sit in the shade with a sunscreen on. So um, depending on how dark skinned you are, you will have um, sort of longer periods that you can be out in the sun. But the SPF number doesn't indicate how many more hours you can stay in the sun. It indicates how long you can be in the sun before the sun starts damaging your skin. So going into SPFs, so if you use uh, an SPF of 30, um, it will still let 3% um, of sun rays onto your skin. So you've got basically 97% protection. If you're using a 50, uh, 50 factor, then it still lets 2% of sun rays through. So you are only getting a 98%. Um, so the difference between a 30 and a 50 is actually quite negligible in the, in the protection that it gives you. What is different is the ratio of chemicals that are put into that product. The higher the factor, unfortunately, the more chemical they put in it. So I'm going to come on to that again in, in, a, little, in a minute. Um, a lot of the chemicals that go into sunscreens, and I will post a list um, un, in the comments of um, the chemicals that are actually dangerous to the skin and are carcinogenic. So they can produce cancers of the skin when we use them. So um, I have got a list of those and I'm going to pop those into, this isn't to scare anybody, I just want to make you aware that, um, you know, we, we are bamboozled all the time about putting sunscreens on our skin and I'm not saying don't, absolutely always use an SPF, particularly on your face, but again we'll come to that in a minute. But it's about looking at what you are buying and what ingredients are in your sunscreen so my rule of thumb the cheaper you go um, the more likely you are to have a high chemical content um, and so um, have a look at what the ingredients are um, and see whether you're happy to put them on your skin especially for the kids um, you know you want to be using a high quality mineral based sunscreen for um, the children I am looking down at my notes here. Um, so, you can buy um, Factor 100s out there. Um, just be careful. They, they, yes, they do block the sun 100%, but um, once you've hit Factor 30, the more chemicals go in. So you are pretty much looking at um, a, a nion chemical product going on your skin with a factor 100 so again just be careful if you're using one of those on the children um so to that end my recommendation is always to use a mineral based sunscreen so try and go as chemical free as you can so there are some really good um ones out on the market um so you have ultra sun um they say that they're at once a day um but again um we'll talk about that um because i don't agree with the fact that it's once a day um all sunscreens the minute you put them on your skin they start to break down so a mineral sunscreen will give you a longer protection than a chemical one Okay, because um, you'll see that sometimes you will have, um, you'll use a mini, min, uh, mineral sunscreen and it leaves kind of a white residue. So it's great for fair skinned people, mineral ones. If you're slightly darker skin, skinned, you will have to put up with a, a slight residue, white residue on the skin. Because that mineral barrier sits on top of the skin and it's protecting you from the sun. That's how the mineral ones work. But you are using minerals, you're not using chemicals, you're using something that's natural from the earth to help protect your skin. Um, so I would always, I always, because I'm fair skinned, I always go for a mineral one. So 
Um, whatever happens though, the sunscreen is breaking down. The minute you put it on your skin, if you um, use a face cream with a sunscreen in it, um, you've only got about two hours protection and then the sunscreen is gone. So you would need to be putting on your moisturiser or a sunscreen again every two hours. So regardless of what sunscreen you're using, if you're out in the sun for a prolonged period of time, you really need to be popping your sunscreen on um, every two hours so that you are uh, building, rebuilding up the protection. And that's even when it's raining and overcast. So my favourite sunscreens though, of course you know what I'm going to say, are Tropic. And the reason I love Tropic the best um, is one, they um, are certified land and sea safe. So any ingredients that have gone into the Tropic sunscreens are not doing any damage to the environment at all. Um, they're not damaging coral reefs, they're not dam damaging marine life. Um, if if um, they sort of go into um, sewage and landfill, they're not they're not d um, damaging anything on the earth. So um, that's point one. They are vegan, um, so um, they um, are great for vegans and vegetarians as well. Um, so two things I really like about those: they have um, two types. So you've got skin shade which is their 100% um, mineral sunscreen using zinc, di uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, so they will give you a really nice um, protection. They come in an SPF 15, 30 and 50. Bear in mind that a 30 will allow uh, give you a 97% protection rate, a 50 will give you a 98% protection rate. Um, and you will have to apply them every two hours if you are out in the sun in a prolonged um for a prolonged time they are also water resistant so you can um, go safely into the water but again with any sunscreen if you've been swimming i highly recommend that as soon as you come out and you've dried off you pop on another layer the other thing to bear in mind about when you're popping on a, a layer of sunscreen um, always put your first application on 15 minutes before you go out into the sun. So don't go out into the garden and then put your sunscreen on. Put your sunscreen on 15 minutes before you're going to go out into the sun. And then you've built up the barrier, your skin is protected and you can go out into the sun then and then just top up every two hours throughout the day. Um, the next one they have, so that's the skin shade is the 100% mineral and then um, because for some people they don't like that layer on their skin, um, Tropic have a, another brand, a range called Great Barrier, again comes in an SPF 15, 30 and 50, but this is a hybrid of minerals and very safe and gentle chemical. Um, sunscreens, sun, sun filters. So it's great for all skin types. It's great for kids. Um, you are, you, you can use it knowing that you're keeping the environment safe. You're keeping your skin safe. Um, so have a look at those as well. And they also do a product that is specifically for the face called Sun Day. Now it's an SPF 50 that has got all of those great um, mineral and uh, chemical filters in there. Bear in mind the chemical filters are all plant-based, so you're not looking at any kind of um, nasties in there. They're all plant-based. Um, but it also contains, Sunday also contains hyaluronic acid, which is helping to um, keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Um, and it also has um, probiotics in it, which is helping to protect the skin microbiome as well. So some really good skincare products uh, or sun care products to go for in the Tropic range. They also have a wonderful self tanning range, which I'm going to do um, another video about um, at some point because that's a whole other subject. Um, and um, 
if there's anything else you want me to talk about, please do. It's just that as we're going into summer, I thought sun care was uh, one to look at. Um, I'm going to put, as I say, the list of ingredients in um, the comments uh, to avoid. Um, I've put a link if you want to have a look at the um, sun care range from Tropic. Um, there's an order link in the um, blurb around this video. Now, um, you don't just have to order sun care, you can order um, anything you like. So um, it will just take you onto my Tropic site and you can um, have a good old browse. Now, I have got <clears throat> um, in my little uh, kit, I've got two mini sundays, so they are worth £10 each. And um, I would like to offer those out to the first two people who place an order of £50 or more with me by the 31st of May. Now, they won't come with your order because I've actually got them set here with me personally. But if you place an order on the system, I will see that you've done so. Um, make sure you get it del delivered directly to you um, otherwise it will end up at my house and we'll have nightmares trying to get it to you so select home delivery for yourself if you're going to place an order but if you're one of the first two people to place an order i will post you out the the mini sunday this is the full size one so you've got a mini one which is um, worth 10 pounds and that will come to you and that's the one to help protect your face the other thing is Tropic have got a little offer on at the moment with um, if you spend over £80 uh, before the 31st of May, they are sending out um, a beautiful little set which is all that glimmers, which is great for uh, those of you who love to self-tan. Um, you've got sun drops in there, which is the face self-tanning. You pop a couple of drops within your um, moisturiser and that gives you a nice warm um, healthy glow. Um, there's a shimmer in there and do you know what, I've completely forgotten what the other, pro there's three products in there um, and I will put details of that in, in the comments as well. So that's if you spend over 80 and that will come direct from Tropic um, but the Sundays I will send to you as I've got them here in person. If you've got any questions about sun care um, or, or tanning or anything like that, please give me a shout. Um, it's been a bit of a, a lecture today rather than a um, rather than face yoga and stuff. But as we are all about skin health in the Glow Club, I wanted to talk about other things as well as face yoga and facial gua sha. So enjoy the sunshine. It's sunshiny here today in Chelmsford. I hope the sun is shining where you are. It's about time we had a bit of sunshine. We're at the end of May, for goodness sake. Summer needs to come because we're all desperate for um, vitamin D production. That's another video to do, how we produce vitamin D while we're slathering ourselves with um, SPF. So I'll, I'll um, come on with that as well at some point. But have a wonderful day. Um, I'll check in with you all again soon. Mwah, lots of love. Bye for now.